What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to episode two uh, for Hitman 3. Uh, we're going to continue on with the campaign. Uh, we've got Death in the Family coming up next, so stay tuned. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. 
Curiously, Carlyle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. All right. Death in the family. All right, that looks like our boy there. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Don't mind if I do. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle <clears throat> has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlyle. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe we will take that route. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? Alright, I got my coin and my lockpick. Never go wrong with coins, my guy. All right. Let's see if we can get into this place. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Ooh, look at that. Like we've already got an unsuspecting cop. Playing games with me, but I'm cool. I'm keeping my cool. Over. And choky choky, go to sleep. All right, let's go ahead and take your disguise. <clears throat> Can we drag him into the bush? Or is that too hard packed? That's too hard packed. Ooh. Dump him off into the bushes, though. That we can do. Nope. All right. Take my coin back, thank you. Alright. What can we get away with? Can we go inside as this type of security you? though? Hey you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through here. Get out uh -oh. of my face. Okay, I think we picked the wrong security outfit. This gets us outside. Where's our target? There she is. Oh, those are bosses. Oh man, he's a boss too. What? We kind of picked a useless outfit. This is a shame. Lips are sealed. 
Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. You assume too much, Madame Carlyle. The crime scene, if such exists, is never where I live. Do as you wish. However, I expect a result in a timely fashion. Fernsby will take over from here. I'm Mr. Fernsby of the Butler. I will try to assist you as best I can. Where would you like to start your investigation, sir? Where's the family? I like to prime the suspects a bit. <coughs> Madam Carlyle's family members are all on this floor. Maybe start in the sitting room. If you'll follow me this way. Priming, mm. you say. That sounds interesting. It's like planting seeds that will grow into the telling. All right. So we have to kill her. Alexa Carlson and we have to find the case file and then there's a private investigator here that I'm thinking might be the way to go as far as the disguise goes because I think they're expecting this guy to just walk wherever he wants investigate whatever he wants I wonder if we can get away with it though you uh really hmm all right I'll just take my coin back then Hey, look, a screwdriver. Always use a good screwdriver. Hmm. Oh, my guy. I feel mildly annoyed. Beautiful. Do you, though? Why don't you go check that out, my guy? Possible intruder. Yeah. Area. Over. Why don't you go check that out? And choky choky. Stop. Hey. Just be thankful I didn't like kill you, okay? Alright, we'll drop the body. Close that. Take the disguise, because we chose obviously the wrong disguise to be in here. And we'll put this guy in here. And we will drop that gun. Did he drop a gun out here? He sure did. I'll go ahead and take all that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I don't know. Is there a place I can ditch the gun? Or is that more like blending in? That's more blending in. Okay. <clears throat> the hair on my neck stand you all right we got pretty good free reign with this disguise now i'm wondering if maybe we go in uh muddy prints from high hills expensive size six Don't mind me. 
I just want to know if I can get your costume. Ooh, I can. And subdue. If you're dressed like a Detective 47, you might as well act the detective. I suggest you go talk to the butler. Ooh, look at that. Look at my little Gucci sweater here. Looking good. All right. We're going to act like a detective, apparently. Now we've got free reign wherever we go. Can I talk to anybody? Hello, hello, hello. Don't mind me. Apparently not. Nobody here is going to suspect anything. That's good. Mr. Whitmer, are you ready to inspect the crime scene now? I am. Very well. If you'll <clears throat> follow me, sir. Oh, please, Jeeves, leave the way. Really? Come on. I feel obliged to point out. The current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. Very nice house. This concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Okay. Let's go a take a- to room murder, Mystery 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, I will get to the bottom of this for sure. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. A book is off of the bookcase. This, this has got to be a clue. Nobody leaves a book on the floor. Got to get a picture of that. That's suspicious. Hmm. Ooh. What? That would be why the book is on the floor. Oh. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. What? Ooh, there's peepholes. What a dirty bird. Any other ones? Hmm. Bro, we got different filters we can use? That's awesome. Hashtag Instagram. Late sunset. <laughs> oh, look at that. A two-way mirror. Hmm. A photocopy of the... Floor plans. 
Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. All right. I'm sure there's more to find in Zachary's room. Yeah. I'm sure there is. All right. So we know that there's secret passages. There's a two-way mirror. Why is this guy so creepy? What do we got? Using Why our don't you six use your cent. camera to scan the dead body, 47? Oh my god, the guy's dead. He's still here. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Late sunset. shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Interesting. All right, the bedroom of Zachary Carlson. Whiskey bottles, a whiskey glass and a bottle found next to Carlson's bedside. All right. Any residue? We've gone from Hitman to CSI. Look at us. We are moving up in the world. What else do we got? Dude, this guy was a connoisseur. Look at this. Very nice, very nice. else do we got Zachary's suicide note Zachary's suicide note can we read it a suicide note I'm, uh, I am haunted by horrible past choices and they're all consuming consequences Alexa was the raft keeping me afloat without her I cannot go on goodbye right also a sample of handwriting it could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity Ooh. i believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene 47 maybe it's time to see the butler i'm curious about the information he's prepared for you zachary was shopping for new wellingtons last night not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal New Wellingtons for nine dollars. My God, this guy's got the hookup. Hmm. Very, very, very interesting. Have here. Ooh, trespassing. Sorry. I didn't know I was trespassing. I didn't know I could trespass. I thought I was I had free reign on everything. Dude, this is a killer room, man. I would love a house that looked like this. Alright, well, let's go talk to Jeeves. Hello. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Mm. This is very useful information, 47. All right.
So, Gregory Carlson, the oldest child of Alexa Carlson. Gregory is suspected in the murder of Zachary Carlson. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, right, I then. believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps do you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Ooh. Don't tempt me with a good time. I don't know, let's... Hmm. Maybe we go to the... Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Ooh, there's coins. I like coins. Maybe we go to their bedrooms. Do some things with some things. Oh, you got enough guns? Very nice. Hmm. Let's do some investigating before we question. That way we can catch him in a lie. How does that sound? Hey, how you doing? Don't talk to me. I am above you, sir. I'm kind of curious what's in there. I received the bulk token from the Milton Fitzpatrick London Bank. Did I understand correctly that I should give it to Rebecca in case of your death? Exactly. She holds the other one. I want her to have the file on Arthur Edwards if I die. I'm not fearful she will be in trouble if she knows. She will start digging when she realizes things don't add up. Inevitably getting her in trouble. I'd rather she knew who she's up against. She's clever and resourceful. Who knows, maybe she'll be able to hit him where it hurts. But I don't want her to get involved prematurely. Hopefully she'll never have to get involved at all. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so we now know that they hold the tokens to some to the file that I think we're looking for. But why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody rude. That's what it is. Making us come here to play funeral and then show up like nothing's the least bit strange. Oh, don't get your knickers all twisted. Ooh, don't get your knickers all twisted. Up, I saw that. Don't act like you didn't do something wrong. See that look in your face. Well, look at me. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. All right. Door's locked. Interesting. If only we had a way to get in. <laughs> Just have to wait for her to leave. Whoa. Fight the barber's razor. Can you go dust somewhere else? Or sweep? Excuse me. Yeah, you. Hmm. I bet he's stringing all the girls along like that anyway. He is. You should have known that. Come on. Will you leave already? Let's go. Chop, chop. Get out of here. Well, I can't do anything while she's sweeping. I might as well look for some other clues. American. What on earth are you doing in this shithole? A girl like you belongs in clubs in London. 
Whoa. How about your great dance? I don't like dancing. What about restaurants? You like food? I know some great places. You should come visit. I'll take you somewhere really nice. Spend a few bucks. A girl like you. Perfect. I don't Done. Know. If you want to check on the undertaker in charge of the funeral, I got word he's upset with Madame Carlyle. I did, sir. It all checked out. Okay. I should let you get back yeah. to Sorry. <sighs> Are you serious? Bro. Are you coming back to sweep again? Oh, don't be small. Stupid. Stop acting like you're 15. There's something in it. Yes, there is something I can hide you in here. What was that? Hello? Hello? Who made that sound? That's awfully weird. We should go and investigate. Oh my goodness, you fainted. Let me drag you to the wardrobe. Very nice. Get my coin back. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, hello. I have no idea where your girlfriend went. Oh, weird. This door was open when I came here. Missing propane. What? Dump a missing propane flask. I don't know what that means. Depth of field. What? Shut up. Got a bokeh effect. That's pretty cute. Ooh. Scanned the shoes. Hmm. It's a nice brass tub, though. Let me take a selfie. Hmm. Not much else really of interest in here, is there? It's not. Hmm. All right. I like the cane. Pretty legit. Pretty legit. All right. Take a final gander around here just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Ooh, what's this? Now, this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? Hmm. And why is the key missing? Why is it missing? All right, I think we found stuff. All right, let's go out here real quick. Take a gander. Anything worth scanning? Does not appear so. All 
All right. Next. That the, that's the outside. You were just out there, right? Smoking a cigarette. Anything worth of interest. Not a break. I don't need a break. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. My bad. Hmm. Go to the other side. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Very, very, very peculiar. Hitman 3 CSI. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Perfect. Uh, okay. Don't mind me. Just going to do some illegal stuff here. Oh, weird. It unlocked. Oh, this looks like a treasure trove. Ooh, are you buying boots too? I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Hmm. Conference call from 9 to midnight, so that means she's not the killer. At least, we don't think she is. Whoa! Oh, look at us being pros. Hey, Ron, did Yates mention anything about the Carlisle account? Yes, I'm in England now. It's all gone. Ron and I haven't been briefed about shit. What the fuck do I say to Carlisle? I feel completely blindsided here. I have no idea what's going on. It's... It's all gone. No, she's calm as ice. It's, it's just not natural. Nobody's that calm. It's gonna end in murder, I'm telling you. Hmm. So I'm assuming they're broke? What do we got here? Ah, there is a dirty bird in this house. This looks like a bathroom. Let's go back out this way. All right, I think we've done what we can in here. Let's take a look at the camera real quick, just to make sure there's nothing here that we can scan. Nothing looks sussy. got her notebook rebecca carlson in notebook found in the bedroom in which she is staying the notes concern various carlson alice i don't is it carl carlisle 
whatever assets as well as board meeting from the night before the handwriting does not match zachary's suicide note so rebecca seems to be kind of on the legit side it sounds like she was in a meeting and the handwriting doesn't match the note all right I think we found everything that we can find here. Let's see. Hello there, sir. Let's pop locking and dropping, boys. What is this? Is this like a security room or something? Hi, Han. Yeah, well, I don't feel too good. I have to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't push me so, in. Yeah, well, we Jesus. Same language. About that promotion I thought might be coming my way. Yeah, well. Smile. Sorry, gotta go. I'll call you back later. Well? Well, Ooh. well, hang on, hang on, hang on. So far, it looks like we can. All the transfers of funds and privileges I've been through have been bulletproof. He intercepted the arrangements our office worked years to put in place. That's why. Don Yates should be here. He made the arrangements. He should bloody well be the one to clean up this whole mess. I, uh, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Don't kill the messenger, Alexa. Please, continue your efforts, Mr. Ford. Oh, righty. Look at me and my sneaky peephole stuff. That American lawyer in the, the small office, did you check his travel documents? I vetted him thoroughly. He's good. Let's keep moving here. All right, let's go downstairs. I think we've done a pretty decent job up here. Just relax for a minute. And that's what it's for. Why do you think it's a staff toilet? away with words, man. That end woman is a tad too busy. What is it? She scolded Mary for not making the bed the way she prefers it. It's so unfair. She just discovered Zachary's dead body and was all shook up. I tried to tell her that, and do you know what she said? She said, things will change around here. I can promise you that. She can't wait to get her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Did all the groceries arrive? I heard some of the delivery people were unhappy with the security at the gate. But that is safe with Ethel. She never misses a step. Gossiping and work, both. I can't deal with all this pretending and all that stuff now. I know I have to, but I just think she might be pregnant. I'm gonna be a dad. You'll be fine, Robbie. Kids are great. Bag of sugar. Ooh. Can't go wrong with rat poison. Should we need it? That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Okay, let's uh let's take a look inside that office. What is that? Master key, all right. Oh. All 
Okay. What list are we dealing with here? Ah, oh, list written by Mr. Fernsby, the butler. It details various preparations for tomorrow's pretend funeral and a photo shoot scheduled for today by the fountain in the garden. The handwriting does not match the suicide note. Okay. But what do you know? Hmm. Not seeing much else in the way of anything in this office. Ooh, what's that? Zachary's diary. This is big. Let's see. Fernsby's office. Burnt diary. Zachary Carlson's diary found half burnt in the fireplace in Mr. Fernsby's office. The diary details how Zachary and Alexa conspired to murder their older brother Montgomery and how Mr. Fernsbury helped them to cover it up as an accident. Zachary was still plagued with the guilt of and with Alexa presumed dead he planned to publicly confess his crimes. Curiously, the handwriting does not match the suicide note found in Zachary's bedroom. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. Hmm. And 47, Lethal, the handwriting enough. doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Hmm. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Not... Unless, of course, you want yes. to do some more detecting, 47? Oh, of course I want to do some more detecting. Are you kidding me? You and me both. What's up, ladies? Ooh, an apricot. Yes, hi, Cassie. It's me again, Edward. I, I know I'm not supposed to leave you messages, and this is not time, I promise. It's just, uh... I don't know how to handle this whole situation. I don't think I can really. I, I, I can't feel my legs, and my eyes are not working properly. This flicker thing again. Y you can't tell anyone. But well, the thing is, I've been asked to perform the eulogy at the funeral event tomorrow. I know it all sounds so unbelievable. But even though Mother is still mm -hmm. alive, we still have to go through with the funeral. I have to write the eulogy. I don't think I can. She would definitely want to read it, and no matter what. I, I just know she'll be disappointed in me. Again. My legs are really weird. I, I need you, Cassie. Oh, God. Oh, I hope it's not Mother wanting me to rehearse the eulogy in front of everybody. Oh. What have we got here? In my own time, Gregory. I'll wait till everybody is here. I'm here. <laughs> right. Let's get started. Dude, wouldn't I it just be epic I know to stand right here Some I will and pop, pop the right in the face? Have to wait. First... Zachary's sudden death is a great tragedy, but also a great mm. convenience, as it happened just now. I'm dealing with the situation in a discreet and efficient way, and I expect your cooperation in all related matters. Secondly, 
the arranged funeral event tomorrow will take place as planned. No one can know that I am still alive. I expect you all to act your part. Last, as you all know, I have a lot on my plate and need to focus on sorting everything out, so please do not disturb me with your petty concerns. You are all adults, and as part of the elite, you will eventually have to deal with difficult situations like this. It comes late for most of you, but this is a chance for you to show what you are made of. That will be all. Hmm. What an exit. Old Bag's got style. Show what you're made of. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> this is your chance. Hello, sir. Oh, God. I have to punish my you. Hmm. Anything to report? Nothing new, madam. Well, that, I believe, is Rebecca, if I'm not mistaken. So. Um. Uh, greenhouse miscellaneous key cards. Suspects. Here we go. So we've ruled out Rebecca. But she's got that key that we need. So we need to chokey chokey him. We definitely need to chokey chokey her so we can get the file. Just have to find a way to do it. Don't mind me. I'll just be listening to your conversation over here. Mother, I want to know what is going on. Not now, Rebecca. I thought I made that clear. Yes, now. Something's really wrong. I started digging and I can see that a lot of our mandates are faulted. Financial decisions revoked and a freeze on the... Rebecca. And then you give me that token for the vault in London. But only one of two. You need to explain. The token for the bank vault is just a contingency measure. I doubt you'll need it. Christ, Mother, that's exactly what I mean. Could you be more cryptic? I am working very hard to figure everything out. I need you to back off and trust that I'm in control. I have contingency plans and will make sure that you get information, useful, factual information when oh. I have it. But for now, I need to How are we going to get her? Huh, There's a bathroom oh, here. Mother. And alone. Hmm. Can we, ooh, she is coming this way. All right, we have to chokey chokey her in order to make this work. Hopefully, this works. I demand that you return my call ASAP. Sending a junior attorney is a gross negligence and responsibility. Damn it! Never mind. You got a possible intruder. Commence his sweep. Out. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, that didn't work. We'll get her later. We need to finish. Let's go outside. Actually, let's do some questioning. Yeah. Do some questioning. Let's go to the guy over here that the two swans over here are swooning over. Or he makes another phone call. Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes. This dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He would never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the Stag's Head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff, all the company he had. If that's all, I... Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? 
Zachary found dead in his bed this morning, or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy. And Mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. I can't breathe. Excuse me. Hmm. I don't think it's this guy. Obviously, we don't think it's this guy. I promised I wouldn't call you again, Cass, but just wanted you to know I feel a little better. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, hmm. No, we're not concluding the, the investigation. I'm gonna talk to you, uh, to this guy. Gregory Carlisle, can you tell me where Carlisle. you were yesterday right. evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Nope. Tell me about Zachary. Zach? <laughs> Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle, but who could blame him? Only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate... In Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Hmm. All right. Well, those three are definitely out. Let's see. Can we talk to her? Ah, my perfect mother. <laughs> Who would have thought? You fucked up, didn't you? Staging your own death? A major, grandiose cock-up, I'd say. Be quiet, Gregory. It shows you're only human, after all. I never would have guessed. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa, GQ, what's going on, my guy? Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Am I right? I'm not at liberty. It's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Don't tell mother. Okay. She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? What did you think of Zachary? <laughs> Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my- Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. That's too much of an idiot to be the killer. But let's see. Patrick claims he was the staff of Rosie. He says he found Zachary's creepy as hell. Lastly, Patrick's success Zachary might have killed himself or that Mr. Fonsby could have done it. Okay. Do we have bedrooms for these guys? Uh, let's see, Zachary's room, Emma Gregory's room, Rebecca's room, Mr. Fonsbury's office, the greenhouse, we have to go investigate the greenhouse. Excuse me, madam. Rebecca Carla, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. 
Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot to see to. Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book. Which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Hmm. All right. All right. Emma Carlson, where are you at? Where is your wife? And yeah, we'll come back. I need this shoot to happen, okay? And so, Madame Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. Hmm. Interesting. I need it to be perfect. I guess we could do that. Good. I'll finish setting up. All right, here is the greenhouse. Seems to be ever so protected. Let's see if we can get in here. Carlisle in the greenhouse. How curious. Hmm. Oh, you startled me. I, I was just, I don't know, thinking about Zachary. He spent most of his life in here with these plants. Not much of a life, is it? Anyway, I'll be outside if Broken you lab equipment. It looks me. like it was recently used, though. Emma Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. Very I believe peculiar. I went out when the boys sat down for a drink around... Eight o'clock. Is that all? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you want to know? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. 
Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Hmm. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Hmm. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. Ooh, maybe. I don't believe for a second that Zachary did a suicide. We don't need to run to a crab street. Boat key. Interesting, there's a boat. I'd say worried about how things should be handled with Gregory and Emma taking over. I said that they'd be safe. Hmm. Making sure we're not missing anything here. Let's go check out that boat. Oh, you startled me. I, I was just yeah, 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 yeah. thinking about Zachary. He spent most of his life in here with the plants. Not much of a life. Well, anyway, I'll be outside if you need me. If you can excuse me. Hmm. I am very curious as to what she was doing in there. Come on, Oliver. I understand why you're so upset. It's such a shock to all of us. We're going to track her for a minute. I just want to see what she was doing in the greenhouse. see if maybe we can pick up some extra information here just to really kind of get the full experience you know i i usually save this kind of gameplay for you know after we've completed missions but this is an intriguing one for sure let's see if we can maybe see what she was trying to finish inside the greenhouse Zachary won't get to see the rhododendron perigidium blossom. They were his favorite. I know, Oliver, I know. But we shall all miss him dearly. Is that all she does? She just paces back and forth and says, damn it, I need it to work. What a piece of junk. Okay, I don't think we're gonna discover too much more here, so we'll go ahead and leave.
now we just need to figure out how we're going to kill Oh, you're not the butler. Where where did he go? Hello, sir. What's up? Is that him? Uh it doesn't look in need of another drink, are we, mother? Where did he go? Where did he go? At him? Where's he at? Bloody phone, you coward! How dare you take my life like this? You're a nobody, a weasel, overreaching your competencies. You are in way over your head, and I will make you pay. You can count on that. Ooh, somebody's threatening. Where the hell is the damn butler at? Over here trying to conclude things. One time I don't need him to pop up anywhere. So forty one guests will attend the funeral tomorrow. There's still a lot to see to, but we're in good time, I think. Seen his office, maybe? Holy crap, I've been looking everywhere for you, man. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir.
Oh man, I didn't even think of looking up here. How are you today, sir? Oh, I'm just Andy, thank you. Crap. Hang on. Maybe we take a look real quick, just to make sure. Not done yet, right? We just said we're ready to do some things with some things. Oh, don't activate the button. Yeah, we don't want to do that yet. Totally forgot there was even an upstairs to this place. Unicorn horn? The hell's that about? Looky, looky, looky. You pick it up? Come on. What's going on here? It's not going to look sussy, me carrying that around, right? Describes how two tokens carried. Okay, they are combined in the event. Okay, grant access to the deposit box. Apparently, the deposit. Okay, we've already known that. Already figured that part out. I want to get into this room though. Oh, bro, I'm not even... Am I trespassing in here? Apparently I am. safe around here somewhere that needed this inside of it. If I remember correctly, anyway. Yeah, there we go. Not do that. I, <laughs> I thought 
thought it was a safe. I thought it was part of the mission. My bad, folks. So we will not be picking that up. But we will go in here, grab this. Okay. We've done enough. Oh, hey, hello. Sir. We activated the thing, right? Currently busy. You mean currently busy? You're not I'm current. ready to present my conclusion. Very well. Let's talk in my office. Yes, let's. Please stay back. You stay back. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming... Bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? Hmm. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up, but to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way then. The 
far you want to see me safe. God, I hope you let Edwards and make him hurt. Greetings, sir. I need some privacy. Thank you. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Hmm. No need to panic. Let's see. Let's see. Let's save. Give this a shot. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Hmm. Mission complete. that and we didn't even have to kill anybody else we're gonna try and escape via the boat I think that would be fun Alrighty, folks, that's going to be it for episode two. Uh, make sure to hit that follow and subscribe button so you don't miss episode three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.